What is up guys? Welcome back to Mad DIY. It's your boy Dave. Today, believe it or not, I'm going to show you guys how to load PlayStation games on your RetroPie. Now, I know I did a video on the top three reasons, I think, of why you shouldn't load PlayStation games on your RetroPie. I didn't ever say you couldn't load it on there. I'm just saying I, I just personally don't recommend doing it because then pretty soon you're going to be loading current games and it's no longer RetroPie. And anyway, besides the point, it can be done and I touch a lot of soft spots to the people with that one. But anyway, your boy's gonna show you how to do it because a lot of people are still asking. So in this particular case, I have the Crash game, so I'm gonna go ahead and load that on my RetroPie as a backup. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's get to it. Sorry for the mess. The workshop is a mess. I got stuff everywhere. You're going to hear the 3D printing going in the background. This thing has been going strong nonstop for like the past three weeks. So many orders that I'm getting out. This one here is a nice little special project. Doing really good for your boy there. And there's my little mess. So here we have one of our RetroPie setups here. This is just my little dummy system. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to load PlayStation on your RetroPie. It's going to be quick, simple, easy, like always. But anyway, let's go ahead. The first thing you want to do is scroll over to RetroPie. Next thing, you want to scroll down to RetroPie setup and go ahead and click into there. Once in the RetroPie setup screen, you want to go ahead and scroll down to manage packages. Next thing you want to scroll down to manage optional packages. After this, you want to go ahead and scroll down to PlayStation, which is going to be, well, in my RetroPie, it's uh, option 132. It's going to be called PCSX Rearm. That's Papa Charlie Sam X Ray Rearm. And in the bottom left, you'll also see that it'll say PlayStation Emulator. Go ahead and select that. Next up, just go ahead and install from binary. After this, you'll notice the loadout. Of course, you're gonna have to have your system hooked up to Wi-Fi, so just that quick, it's done. So now you're gonna be back at the screen, just go ahead and simply just back out. And back out one more time, and back out again. Now exit. This is gonna take you right back to the RetroPie setup screen where you just entered in. You can go ahead and step away from this for now. You're gonna go ahead to your laptop or your computer and we're gonna make some changes from there to go ahead and get that game loaded that you need. Okay, from your PC, you're just simply gonna go ahead and click the Windows Explorer folder icon that's on your system, assuming that you're using Windows. You don't wanna do it in your internet browser. You wanna go ahead and open up Explorer. So act like you're gonna search for a file on your computer and you wanna just simply use that box at the top. That's where you're gonna type the IP address to connect to your RetroPie. So for this example, I'm gonna show you a photo of the folder that I'm gonna click and it's gonna open up a screen just like this. And at the very top, I'm gonna to just simply type in my IP address. In this particular situation, my IP address for this Pi is gonna be 192.168.86.89. Make sure your slashes are going the exact same way as in the illustration. Here. And for those who aren't familiar with how to connect your RetroPie to Wi-Fi to even get to this point, make sure you check the link in the description there. I have a walkthrough on how to actually configure your RetroPie from beginning to end and a few other tutorials but I'll put the link in that's going to be the quickest for you to actually get to that. It's very simple, easy, it's only going to take you a couple seconds. You just got to get the IP address by connecting your RetroPie to your Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and continue. So here we're going to go ahead and select the ROMs folder. After you're in the ROMs folder, now that we just loaded that PlayStation emulator, you're not going to see a folder that's going to say PSX. Search for that folder and double click it. Now that you're inside the PSX folder, this is where you're going to drop your PlayStation ROMs. Let's go ahead and get the game. We need to go ahead and load the games that we own for backup purposes. So let's go ahead and go to MU Paradise and get our game. Okay, once you're on MU Paradise, the website is www.emu p a r a d i s e dot m e so from here you're going to go ahead and type in the search area the game that you're looking for so this one i'm looking for crash so i'm going to just type in crash and it'll start generating some names for you there you can kind of see it you can scroll through if you get some of the ads out of your way i'm just going to type crash and hit enter so from here i can see all the versions of crash that pop up from playstation to nintendo game boy to whatever else that they have on there i'm just simply going to go ahead and scroll down and select the version of 
the game that I want. Of course, I try to stick with the ones for USA and see if you can find a copy of that particular game. After you find your game you want, just simply go ahead and select it and you want to scroll down close to the bottom. You're going to see an option that's going to say download whatever game you're looking for. It'll say a direct download link and you want to just simply click that. After clicking it and if this is your first time on a site, there is going to be a verification to verify that you're not a bot. So you're going to have to answer the question. So basically it's telling me to please enter the information there and I'm just simply just going to type exactly what it says right into the box and hit enter. On the very next screen you're going to see another direct download link for basically what you just clicked on. You want to click that one more time and your download should ask hey where do you want to save this and you can go ahead and save that zip file. Give it a few for your download to come through and we're going to go to that respective folder that you saved that download to. Next up, go ahead and extract those files. You're going to have a zip folder. You want to go ahead and extract that. If you don't have a WinZip program on there, you can go ahead to like download.com and just download WinZip. It's free. You can use it. So you want to go ahead and unzip those files and you're going to see two files in that folder. One's going to be a disk image. The other is going to be a bin file. Once you're at this point, you're just simply going to take those two files, highlight them both, and you just simply want to go ahead and copy those guys and paste them back over to that PSX folder that you have open. If you don't want to copy and paste, you can just simply drag and drop. It depends on how many windows you have open. If you're using a, you know multiple monitors like I'm doing, I open up multiple windows. You can just simply drag and drop those files over to that PSX folder, or you can just simply copy and paste. Give this a couple minutes while it places the files on there and guys we are almost done once the transfer is done and you successfully have both files on there now move back over to your retro pie once you're at the retro pie those files will not show up we have to do a restart so you want to go ahead and hit start and scroll down to quit once you're in quit you want to hit restart emulation station it's going to say really restart click yes wait for your system to restart and we're going to be able to see our playstation game after the restart, simply scroll through all your consoles there, go to P's, and voila, there you have PlayStation. And it shows one game available. Let's go ahead and click into there. And there we have it, the Crash Bandicoot. So now we have that, I'm gonna go ahead and select that game. <laughs> so there you guys have it like always quick simple easy make sure you guys hit that subscribe button make sure you support your boy along this journey we got some more cool things coming your way i really appreciate you guys we're growing strong here thank you guys so much for tuning in it's your boy dave signing out till next time peace